southern Tunisia, November 2005. I've traveled over 10 hours on buses and taxis to reach the heart of Star Wars territory, a place where the local men actually dress like Obi-Wan Kenobi, to find the location that George Lucas used for Luke Skywalker's house. It's here in the Berber village of Mat Mata, where it gets so hot in the summer that many villagers dig underground to build their homes. The perfect setting for the planet Tatooine and the Lars homestead, Luke Skywalker's childhood home. George Lucas filmed all the interior shots at the Hotel Sidi Dries, one of the few places in Mat Mata where visitors can stay in underground accommodations. The place is just filled with Star Wars paraphernalia. There's no mistake that this is ground zero for Star Wars groupies. The walls of the main courtyard are covered with bizarre plastic doodads that were actually props during the filming of the movie 30 years ago. It's a weird mix of 1970s sci-fi schlock implanted onto North African Berber architecture. Seems like a pretty cool place for a kid like Skywalker to grow up. Just throw in R2-D2, a protocol droid, and some moisture evaporators, and you've got a swank little pad. Just be careful leaning against the props. It looks pretty well made, but it's actually quite hollow if you knock it. Yeah, you could knock it down if you wanted to. Not that anyone would, of course. Unless perhaps if you wanted to sell it on eBay. If you spend the night here, be prepared to be woken up by tour groups as early as 8 a.m. But you do get to have breakfast in the same room where Luke had his intergalactic milkshakes. And if you're lucky, maybe old Ben Kenobi will stop by for some pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> 